So Nicholas, in terms of the good that's come out of COVID-19, what would you like us to take forward in a post-COVID world? What shouldn't we leave behind? I've really been struck by the stories of many people across Australia who are discovering things about themselves and their relationships with others that have brought them a, a sense of well-being and, and I guess emotional nourishment. And I'm thinking about lifting the telephone and talking to their mother more frequently than what they had done prior to COVID-19. Talking to their neighbours, um, asking about how their co-workers were going and the coming together of co-workers in a workplace situation. We've also seen the very best of people in health and human services and community services, in community strength and wellbeing. And if we begin to think about all of what has happened in our lives, which has been difficult, we need to counterbalance that with these great things that we've discovered in ourselves. Um, these great things that I've just mentioned about connection with family, um, taking time to self-care, um, for some people, they've, they've taken a greater emphasis, uh, if you like, or a greater interest in their exercise and their, um, their own well-being as well. And if we want to begin to think about all of these things and maybe what we could take into a post-COVID-19 world, you know, maybe for some we're going to be living a more flourishing life. And as human beings, we're, we're wired up to, to live a flourishing life, where we come into this world wired up for connection to live a flourishing life. So those things taken in combination with each other could be extremely important in a post-COVID-19 world. <laughs>